and this interest is also compounded uh, in a specific amount of time as well. So now we have another comparison, which is higher interest rates can be uh, can come from revolving credit, often nine to twenty five percent when the balance are not fully paid, but installment credit is two to eight percent. So what this means is that uh, that revolving credit is often more dangerous to borrow as the cre the interest rates can rise quickly, as we can see here. So, uh, for installment credit, you have to pay by each month, meaning the interest rates should be low, so you don't have to pay so much the first month, and then pay even more and even more, because that's going to be an incredible amount of money that you have to pay off over a specific amount of time. So let's say you had like $10,000 in like debt. If you had like high interest rates like in here to from nine to twenty five percent, you're probably gonna end up paying like a lot over ten thousand dollars in that and it's it's gonna in the long term it's not going to help you at all. And then for revolving credit, you have the nine to twenty five percent because you have to pay it back uh in a not a specific amount of time frame. So if you don't pay back uh, the money that you borrow, let's say 55K, uh, the 30K that you borrowed, and you, have, you, you can't pay it back by then, they're going to have to charge you with higher interest rates. So uh, our next comparison is that installment credit can be, cannot be prepaid, meaning the money cannot be paid by a set amount uh, than the set amount. More money cannot be paid than the set amount while revolving credit can be prepaid. So what this means is, let's say for, let's go back to our paying example where you have to pay a thousand in January, and you have to pay a thousand times the one plus I interest that you need to pay for installment credit. So what this means is you cannot pay, let's say a thousand seven hundred dollars rather than $1,000 since this payment is already set for that $1,000 and you have the interest compounded on that $1,000. Uh, you can't pay more to make the interest less. While in revolving credit, you can prepay it. So let's say you borrowed the 30 k right? And you already have 27 k uh, not 27 k 2700 that you can... Uh, that you can pay back. So this means that you don't have to follow this plan of a thousand and you pay back a thousand times the interest. You can just pay back this two thousand seven hundred dollars all at once to back to the uh, uh, creditor from for your revolving credit. Meaning that usually revolving credit you could maybe like earn less. You could like pay off the interest money in much less than installment credit if you pay back your revolving credit quickly. So our last comparison is that installment credit uh, cannot be with revolving credit as the monthly payments will cause a lot of pressure to your monthly budget. So let's say you have to pay a thousand dollars, right? And you also have to pay, let's say this number, two thousand. you wanted to pay this 2,700 per uh, uh, back to your revolving credit that would put a lot of uh holes in your budget and it will make it like tough for you to to uh like fit all this money into your budget as you might not earn that much this much money monthly